we've arrived at the Groundbreaker. I'll lock up behind you. Casi todos son igual en su aspecto. Rizzo's Mock Apple Cider. A hard cider for a hard life. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Todo lo perdí, más bien. Well, that's Todo just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine. But maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Bueno, tendré que averiguar cómo. Es que si no, ¿cómo iba a poder aumentar esto?
Medicina ya casi llegó al... Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Ah, okay. Bueno, por mientras voy a hacer varias misiones este. Tengo que conseguir 10.000 bits. Está bien difícil de hacer eso. Sí, ya se vendí todo a lo mismo. Gran inversión. Hey, Captain, can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but... I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. I'm sad to hear it, Captain. You seem plenty warm to me, in your way. But yeah, don't feel great, does it? When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. 
Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from Junlei, I just... couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Drinking never solved nothing, Captain. I, I ain't been able to sleep for three nights now. I just want to unwind. Just the tiniest bit. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? This is Halcyon News. 